Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I've got I think 10, 12 orders going out today, one really good one, even with giving a hundred dollar discount, still a great sale. And then like I promised, I will get to why this Ernest Hemingway, For Whom the Bell Tolls, first edition, which is like a $700, $500, $700 book, is an epic fail, a just a colossal disappointment. I'll get to that a little later in the video. All right, first thing going out today, it's a book. Rolo May Springs of Creative Living, right here. Springs of Creative Living. I accepted an offer, $20 free shipping. Next thing going out, A3, Evil Night Adult Men's Costume. I got two costumes at a garage sale. I got this one and then a Wonder Woman. I think I paid 10 bucks a piece for them. The Wonder Woman sold for above 40 $40. I don't remember how much. And then this one, I just took an offer $30 plus shipping. I probably could have held out till next Halloween or closer to it and got a little closer to the, I think 45 I had it listed for, but no reason for that. Take the money, moving on. Also, because I, you know, sometimes you want to take the money so you can go invest in new stuff. I actually have an estate sale this weekend to go to. I was him and hawing back and forth if I was going to go. Um, but they put the estate sale company posted a whole bunch more pictures this morning and I was able to look through and I spotted because there's always those areas at least you know it'll change per area but in my area the fishing stuff the what they would call the the men stuff or whatever I don't know the fishing stuff the tools guns those things like there's gonna be a crowd in those areas but I did notice in the gun ammo area in the house that there was a bookshelf and I was able to zoom in and there was some reload manuals on how to reload magazines. Magazines? No. Cartridges. Ammo. How to reload ammo. Whatever. Magazines, the actual thing. I'm not a gun guy. And I zoomed in and I spotted one that's worth about 25 free ship. So that my trepidation is it's it's a 35 minute drive both ways. If I go there and I spend the gas money and the time and I get nothing, you know, it's a waste. Uh, but I spotted a book on the shelf worth enough to at least cover my time and gas. So I'll, fi I'll find enough to make it worth the trip or at least enough to make the trip not a loss. So I'm going to go. I'm going to probably film it. Will I ever edit that video? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Next up, A3 is a Pierre Cardin necktie. A3. It's got to be this right here. It's a new necktie. It's got a little scuff on it there, I hope. That either comes off or was detailed in the listing. I did not list this, Jen did, but I will double check and hope and pray. But for that tie right there with pocket square 1189 free shipping i had run a 15 percent off sale um over the weekend next up c4 is a boy circular knitting needle so let's see b-o-y-e boy um i don't think it was purple but that is the right brand i also am not wearing my glasses so it could have been that one. Nope, it was this one. Boy, knitting needle. 36 inch, 10 and a half. I don't understand any of this stuff. <laughs> I sell so many things that I don't understand, don't have a clue about, and it doesn't matter. The money's still there. You still make the money. The only, only thing I need to know is, does it have a value and will it sell? That's it. Which does run into some problems with questions from customers. And I'm just honest with them. I It's specifically with the wigs. I get so many questions that I have no, I have, I got no information. I don't know. Somebody was asking me, do you, I just, they, they went on this whole story. I just got these two dolls. I need this and the wigs. Do you also carry those? Does this style, blah, blah, blah. And I just said, I don't know. I have none of that information for you. I'm sorry. I keep it 
cordial and I try to make it professional sounding, but basically the gist of it is always, I have no clue, sorry. For that, $9 free shipping, probably on sale, and then I sent out an Actually, it's $9 even, so I, I accepted an offer. And then speaking of wigs, C5B12 is a Kemper original. C5B12, here it is right there. I was a little worried because I did just recently do a end and sell similar, and I'd run into issues on multi-quantity, and I had sold one of those like last week. Um, when I took a little break and didn't film for a couple days because my computer and all that shenanigans. Um, but for that one right there, $11, four cents, free shipping. And it's not, it's not amazing, but you know, when you put some work into something, you want to show it off a little bit. So I got this wall basically finished and why this was a concern for me. I don't know if I went over this before or not. It's because when I'm filming, maybe I can get the angle right now and I'll check it in, in when I'm editing. I want to be able to have a background that's not the background for other videos, not my pull videos. And so I took down the uh, tip of the mitt flips banner that I was so graciously gifted by the Lowry's. And what I'm gonna do is hang it on an angle right here. And then, so like I said, I can just mount the camera or use a little tripod and sit it on the desk right there. I could be on the computer. If I need to fill in a little part for a video, I could just turn it on turn the little angle and it'll look a little more professional, which we all know. I mean, I definitely am not professional. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to pack this little wave up because I'm, I got the last of the books to deal with and these are all sets and just, it's a, a mess. I've, I'm, I'm trying to get back to a, you know, when you're, when you're working through a bunch of projects simultaneously, messes happen. And my, upstairs office it has turned into a hallway it's a room almost as big as my garage and it's now a hallway because i just it's mess after mess after mess and that's that's my goal for today so i'm trying to, it's actually pretty early right now I'm trying to knock all this out edit this video so that i can put it out tonight um to do a premiere and then and then try to just check off the final of a bunch of these projects and just get things cleaned up. I hate having stuff around my feet. It's starting to feel a lot better in here. I added a little bit of carpet over there. I think it's actually helping with the, the heat, the boards, extra boards on top. Every little thing I do it doesn't keep, it doesn't make it warmer, of course, but it, it helps retain the heat every little thing I do. Reminder, next week, next Tuesday, I will be on Nurse Flipper for a live. I may or may not do a premiere leading up to it. I don't know if I want to be sitting at my computer for three plus hours straight um, beyond the hours I already spend on it. But just a reminder, next Tuesday will be eight o'clock, Nurse Flipper live. Check it out. All right, that stain on the tie was just a little bit of dust, came right off, no big deal. Next up, really big sale, but I did take a significant offer. It is Nike Air Jordan 12s. And these are not the retro remakes. These are originals. These are big money shoes right here. But I am beyond nervous about these. I have no doubts that these are authentic because if you see this decomposing um, breakdown right here of where it says Jumpman, that's it. That is an indicator that they are legit. And you'll see it's on both sides. These are from 1996, if I'm not mistaken. And why I'm nervous, and you see, yeah, this side's real bad. This piece right here is not even, I don't even think it's even attached. Um, because, and I've got many messages, the common issue with these is that the heels, the glue breaks down and the shoe will just completely separate if you wear them. So I have had many, many people buy these and then ask questions and then not pay for it. So they really didn't buy it. They just wasted my time. Also reach out and ask, how does the heel look? Does it, it has it started to separate? Blah, 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 on and on and on. And I would be, I was basically, when they would ask that question, I'm not selling them to you. These are not, if you're going to wear them, you have to get them, you have to get them repaired or you have to assume that you will eventually get them repaired. These ones may already have been repaired once. I don't, I really don't know, but I know they're authentic. But I would tell them 
these are, d don't wear them. You obviously, because you're asking, know that's a common issue. So for me to say, oh, no, they're good. They're good to go. And then you put them on your feet and walk 10 feet and they rip. That's on you. You know that issue exists. Everyone who buys these, no one buys this pair of shoes thinking that, that that issue does not exist. And actually that little piece fell off. I'm just going to trash it. It is what it is. Better than having it loose in the box, I think. Um, but I ended up settling uh, $229.99. And I think they were listed $329.99. But that's the other reason why I took that significant offer. I don't want to have them anymore. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want them deteriorating in my garage. The temperature variations, it's very dry in here. I don't know if moisture is bad for them, if dry air is bad for them. I just want to be done with them. I want them off the books. I got another pair that's worth even more. They're Jordan, what are these? These are 12s. I think they're Jordan 13 Columbia's. They're like a white on white. Also those, I'm going to start maybe lowering the price. Anybody sends me a, a fair enough offer, anything over $200, I'll probably take it. I just don't want to deal with them anymore because of the possibility, the pretty good possibility that they have issues with them because they are 25-year-old shoes. <laughs> like, what a, uh, but still, $229. To anybody that doesn't know, I did a big shoe buy last winter. I paid... I don't remember exactly, $1,800, two grand, somewhere in that range. It was around $20 to $25 a pair of shoe. I was hoping to get $50 to $70. I was trying to just double my money after fees, and it ended up being like $13,000 in shoes because there was stuff like this, where it wasn't retro remakes. Those are from 1996 or 1997. I don't remember the exact year, but... Get them out of here. I, I don't want to deal with them anymore. Next up, Rock Band 1. Talk about both ends of the spectrum. Rock Band for 360, Rock Band 1. And by, what I mean by that is $229, $8.49 free shipping. I make like a dollar, and then over on that one, I'm making almost $200 profit. What a world. And of course, I would love for all my sales to be like this, 20 to $25 into, you know, 10X your money into $200. But these ones are what really pay my bills. These ones buy me something nice. These sales keep my lights on in my house. That's facts. Now, maybe not so much that. It was on sale, $8.49 free shipping. Pretty cheap, even for a first class item. If it was a book, I would be a little happier with the media mail, but whatever. That, that's that's facts. S some people wouldn't even bother with that. I probably should have lotted it with another rock band game. But either way, this that's a reality. Keeps my lights on, buys me something nice. Next up, speaking of keeping the lights on, C1A is a cover for a blender. C1A. Yeah. I was heading to this bucket and then questioned myself, which I should do. <laughs> I don't have the best confidence in my remembering when I walk 15 feet. But this right here picked up the whole blender. And I don't know if it's the same buyer. I don't think it was. But I ended up just parting it out. I think I parted out everything. And I sold the blade in my little hiatus. And then here's the lid to it. And they've been listed for well over a year. So possibly the same buyer. I don't know. I did take a pretty good offer on that or sent out an offer. $9.99, but it's plus shipping. That's how long ago it is when I still would do free shippers as plus shipping. Yeah. Next up, C5A11 is a Global Dolls wig. C5A11. This one right here, it is a Ariel... 910 light brown 11.99 free shipping i probably sent out an offer on that one next up c4 is a aero bennett it's like a embroidery or knitting thing or something it's this big long one here i'm not super excited about mailing that but what i will do i will take a piece of cardboard this length or two pieces of cardboard probably just one and then i'll actually instead of having to use a giant bag what I'll do is I'll take one 
of my small uh, poly bags, I'll put it this way. I'll take the other one, put it the other way. I pull this strip, I pull the other strip. It becomes one whole bag. It's It works out actually really great for longer skinny things like that. And I got 934 free shipping. If it was worth more money, then I would take something like one of these tubes or like my bubble wrap core tubes that are also down there, but you can't see. If it was $25 plus, I probably would go that far. Because this one of those items, I, I can put the cardboard in there, but if it's leaning like this and somebody bumps into it or it gets stepped on or a box lands on it, that's just gonna break in half. There's, there's not really much you could do outside of putting it in a cardboard tube like that, which would make all the profits gone. Next up, C3A29 is two Talinas. C3A29 is these two tiny Talinas wigs. And for that pair, $9.99 free shipping. And then last item going out, well, for now, if something, it's it's very early. If something else sells today, it'll go out today. It is, it doesn't have a location, but I know where it is. It's a Walt Disney Needlecraft. It's gonna be right here in this pile of Needlecrafts. And it's not this Walt Disney one, it's this one. And I had held out for these when I first purchased them. I had them priced pretty high. And then some just got added to the market. So I did have to come down quite a bit it was it was pretty surprising it was either this one or the other one i was the only one available and then when i went through and started repricing stuff there was a bunch of them so that's how it goes if a reseller finds out about something youtubers or not existing if something has value resellers will find it out i don't understand there's those resellers that get mad at youtubers for like giving away the secrets before YouTube, it still existed. It was just a magazine you would get weekly. I used to have piles of them. There was multiple magazines you could get. Weekly releases of here's what's hot, here's what sells, here's some good prices, here's some sto success stories. You know, people that have been around for a while, you would remember, I don't remember what they're called, but that existed. It just was in the format of that time. Which, yes, of course, it makes it a little more difficult because you got to read it and you got to get it and all that kind of stuff. It's not just watching on your phone while you're on the bus commuting to work. It's just always been there. And I don't know, I don't know why people have hate for that. It's, it is what it is. If you, if that thing no longer is worth money or not, no longer worth what you thought, lower the price, sell it, move on to something else. It is what it is. $18 free shipping. And these are cool. If I had time to do crafts, this is something I would totally do with the kids. Or actually, I would probably do it and then give it to the kids because I would just, I would want it to come out right. And my kids are still pretty young. And my oldest, she's capable, but she would read the directions, look at the pattern and go, nope, I'm going to do it my way. And you'd get something at the end that was, I don't know, it would probably be other animals or I really don't know what she'd come up with, but it would be not that. So why this book for whom the bell tolls, which is in my top 10 favorite books. I don't, it's not for everybody. It's, I mean, many, many people have read this book. I'm not the only one, but it can be a bit thick. I don't know. That's not the right way to say it. It's a bit, you gotta be, you just got, it's gotta be something you like, but I think this is one of the best books ever. I love it. Like I said, in my top 10, this is going into my personal book collection. I will take my other version of this. That is not a first edition. And I will get rid of it, sell it, do whatever. It's worthless. So I actually won't. And this first edition is worth about $25. So still for a book, that's pretty good. But for one of my favorite books, that just means it goes on the shelf. I I'm more happy with that. The problem is, and why this is not a five to $700 book is one stinking letter. Okay. Cause right here you see copyright 1940. No other things on here, which would indicate first edition. But this is a first edition, second printing, because the first edition, first printing would have a little a. I think right here is the position, but somewhere in here, there would be one capital A. And that's the difference between when I was jumping for joy, celebrating, then 
10 minutes later after a little bit of research because I went to the soul I went to the soul comps and I'm like whoa found it this is the score best book out of the whole lot and it would have been in the very last box I went through that would have been great best book I did find was over I found one that I listed over $200 and then a second one I listed over $300 I don't know if I'll get that amount for either one, but those were the two best books I found. They both are still for sale, so to be determined. But I saw that the soul comps were all over the place and all the books looked the same. So I did some more research and it turned out that there was a first edition first printing and then first editions. That's a, that's a first edition second printing technically or second run or second whatever. I'm still not a book expert, but I sell a little of everything. So that little difference that I... Took the time to, to look into, made sure, double check, because there are that version listed for hundreds of dollars. They will never sell. Somebody pay, paying hundreds of dollars is aware of the difference. And the, the worst part about it is when I was doing that research, it wasn't until a certain point in book production in the 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s, where it became pretty standard for printing companies to be more specific of first edition, first printing, first edition, second printing, uh, impressions. That's the word I was looking for. First edition, first impressions. First ones right through the printing press. The, it's a difference. And the difference is not in the book. The difference is rarity. That's it. One letter. There are not, I don't know, thousands maybe. I have no idea how many printed, but let's say thousands. There are not thousands that have the A. There are thousands, and this is a, I don't know the numbers of how many they printed, that don't have it. And that's that's the difference between a $25 book and a $700 book or $500, or whatever it was. It'll have been in the thumbnail. It's catchy. But just, a, it was really a run through the emotions, the super high, oh wow, can't wait to get this money, to the super low of, oh, I lost out. And then it came back to the middle where I was like, okay, it's still a cool book for my collection. It's one of my favorite books. I'll never have a first edition unless I find it in the wild, which I mean, I'll never have a first edition first impression unless I find it out in the wild, which the odds of that because of the price are very, very low. Still keep your eye out for that one. Cause like I said, it's about a $25 book and who's going to I mean, who, who doesn't want to, t to sell a $25 book? I mean, I would sell nothing but $25 books if I could find enough of them. But a fun find, at least. A cool find for me personally. But just, it was such a back and forth all because of one little letter. Have any of you had anything like that where you found the thing and it turned out your variation was just a little different? I, I would be intrigued to see, I think books, it happens often. I don't know what would be another category where that would even happen very often, but let me know. Have you ever had something that, or the reverse, where you had the one, you had the, that little variation difference, you know, lots of times with, uh, sp sports cards, trading cards, most collectibles, there can be factory defects that actually add to the rarity, therefore add to the price. It doesn't add to the piece itself. There's no there's no difference between this book and the other one. Same covers, same everything, except for one letter. <laughs> Jen tried to convince me to just kind of just draw it in there. See, see if I could see if I could draw it in there and, and get the kids some really good birthday presents this year. But you know, that ain't gonna work. That'll never pass. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give a thumbs down, subscribe, share, and be good to each other. Just really neat. Hey, it's Pete. Do they, do they ever you know, really fix things? I have no idea what this is. What do I care? this.